Good morning and welcome to um, Lifelong Guru Guy. I haven't done a video in a extremely, extremely, extremely long time. So this is the video you don't want to miss. Um, it's, uh, it's about as uh, ex exciting for me as when DVDs first came on um, the market. Uh, and and anyone that knows me knows how excited I was about DVDs going from a VCR tape to a DVD. Um, so there's a new there's a new sheriff in town, I guess you would say. Um, that uh, yeah, uh, it's been around for a while. Um, curiously enough, I didn't know anything about it, um, and it was curiosity that helped me discover it. Um, I'd always heard of, you know, even on my TV, um, I heard about programs like Plex and, uh, and of course, you know, you got Amazon that has their Amazon TV and you got, you know, uh, YouTube TV and, and you got Voodoo TV and I'm, I'm a member of all of those. So that's nothing new, but, uh, so that's all downloadable stuff. Um, downloadable movies, primarily TV shows, those type of things. But, but this has gone one step further. This is really, to me, it's really cool. Really, 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 really cool. Um, and I won't keep you in suspense any longer. It's called the Zapiti, the Zapiti Home Media Player. So, this uh, this is what uh, this is what a Zipedi does, okay, and it does so much. So, uh, basically, how did I discover what a Zipedi was and what it did? Well, of course, I've been backing up my um, DVDs and Blu-rays for quite some time with my kids, and also, you know, losing losing them when you get a big collection like I do, it's very very easy to lose them. Um, which is also why I've done the walkthrough and showed you all my um, huge amount of my collection that's stored in these 400 disc players. Well, after a certain amount of time, uh, instead of your house being completely littered with thousands upon thousands upon thousands of DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K cases, this is my 4K collection, and it's not huge, but... It fills up, you know, this whole cabinet. Um, and I've only been collecting the 4Ks for about four years now, I think. Maybe even, yeah, it's about four years. So, this is what made me curious. Uh, right around Christmas time, um, I decided that, uh, I, I guess I was on the internet looking and I found out that they actually have 4K blank disc that you can make backups um, on your 4K movies. And I was like, huh? I, no, that technology's not here yet. That 4Ks have only been out for a little while. You can't make backups of 4K movies. And I did some research and exploring and this and that and, and basically bought some blank disc. Um, not to go into a lot of huge detail, but the program that I use, it's, it's two programs. It's called DVD, any, wait, any DVD, I think by DVD, no, uh, any DVD, I think is the name of the program, by Red Fox, and, or Sly Fox, yeah, it's Sly Fox, not Red Fox. It is a Red Fox for the picture, um, <laughs> no relation, relationship to the team, but Sly Fox, um, and they've been doing this for years. Uh, I've used that program with uh, Image Burn, I think is the other program. That allows me to, to make backup copies of my DVDs and my Blu-rays. So those work, that's always worked for me. So 4K threw me a curveball. I plopped it in thinking, okay, I'm going to do it the same way. It's a Blu-ray, it's just a bigger Blu-ray. So I tried my any DVD program. Uh, I actually bought the uh, media, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, they're called 100 Gigabyte. I bought them through verba Verbatim, which is the company I've always used recently because they're the best and 
they don't give you frisbees very often. Um, frisbees meaning they defective, you know, when you try to make a backup copy. Um, so anyways, very expensive, very expensive. They come, um, you know, if you know, I did a lot of research and a lot of shopping around and I got probably the best deal that I could find, um, on 4K, 100, 100 gigabyte disc. Now, uh, a 4K disc is typically somewhere in the nature of, they say, 50 to 100 uh, gigabytes. But in reality, they're probably, especially the older ones, they're probably more like anywhere from like uh, 38 to 40 gigabytes to, um, and I mean, have Batman goes up to like 89 gigabytes. So they don't go all the way to 100 gigabytes. Is it gigabytes? Yeah. And, um... So anyways, to make a long story short, that was a big waste of money and a waste of time and a waste of resources um, because any DVD is not able to let you back up any DVD. So I tried Batman, um, didn't work, I, and I only bought a 10-pack because, of course, I didn't want to spend tons of money. So I bought a 10-pack blank disc of the 100 gigabytes cost me, I think it was, uh, I think it was $100, no, no, they were, they were about $4 and something, I think it was $50, so I think they were about $4 and some odd cents, 50 cents, something like that, so, but, you know, you look anywhere, if you, you don't do your shopping around, I've seen them for one disc, 100 gigabytes by different companies, 20 bucks, you know, some of them are outrageous, like 38 bucks, crazy, but I, you know, anyways, any DVD, tried 10 different 4Ks, they all failed, so I'm like, this, this sucks, so I'm on Amazon, I think it was eBay or Amazon, I think it was eBay actually, and doing the research, they say, oh, well, one of the big reasons is you have to have a specific 4K uh, Blu-ray burner that is backward compatible because the new ones that are out don't want you to burn 4Ks. So you have to have this special firmware from like four years ago for this thing to work. We're going to let that ring. Um, so, anyways, lots of research, I finally found out that, I don't know what that is, so, um, we, uh, finally found out that there's, uh, another company called DVD Fab, which is, uh, I think a Chinese company, and, uh, I really, I really was hoping my any DVD would, would, have firmware or something that would fix this problem, but, you know, I read and read and read, nothing, nothing fixed it, so I finally decided after talking to these guys on eBay, I bought a 4K burner with the right, well, first I bought one that did not have the right uh, firmware, and then I bought just a Blu-ray burner, uh, because the computer Nita bought me for Christmas, God bless her, and what a perfect gift that was, because my regular computer, or my one I've used for years, died, so it was like a month later, it's, <clears throat> that one's dead, and this one, God bless it, I had it, but I didn't have a Blu-ray burner in it, so I bought a Blu-ray burner, I bought a, uh, 4K burner, the first one I bought was not compatible, sent it back, got another one, had all kinds of issues with that, with the firmware, sent that back, bought another one. This one had the right firmware, and it still wasn't working with any DVD. So, I finally plugged it in to um, the DVD fab. I had to pay for a, a lifetime subscription. Um, it was a little expensive. I won't tell you what, it wasn't crazy expensive, but for a lifetime, you know, I'm going to use it all the time. Um, and it also works for, you know, there's some Blu-rays that don't, uh, any DVD, 
SSD doesn't have like the, the backup codes for them or whatever. So, I mean, you can use it for that too. Um, and then there's another program um, that I found that's kind of like a backup for the uh, DVD fab. Um, make MV, make MV, V, MK, MKV, make MKV uh, is the name of that program. And that's kind of like a backup for the backup and that will work too. Um, but it's not a, it's not the perfect file, but it's, it works and it, it's, it's a 4k image and I mean, what the heck, you, it works. So if, if a DVD fab doesn't work, then this program works. So anyways, I'm able to burn 4k's. This is a, this is a story. Now the exciting thing, here we go. I'm going to walk you over. This is what the unit actually looks like. This is, this is, okay, so let me explain to you how this, how this works. So you make a copy, um, and in the past, obviously, um, even with, oh, okay, got to back a little bit. So even with, um, DVD fab and make MKV, I still, still was not able to burn a real physical backup disc copy of my purchased 4Ks, or any disc for that matter. Just, these just failed. All 10 of my discs that I bought, they all failed. Never got them to work. Very, uh, tons of frustration. What's going on? Then they, somebody said, well, you should just do Plex, because Plex, you can just put your movies on Plex and um, then you use the internet and you watch your movies through the internet. And, you know, yeah, that's an option, but I'm, I'm just not, I'm a physical media guy. I'm, I want the best possible image that I possibly can get. Okay. So everyone knows the horror stories, at least if you don't, then I'm going to tell you the horror stories of trying to watch like Netflix or Amazon or whatever freezes up or the picture quality is just it's not great and if you look at the download speeds you're getting you know you need like a hundred gigabytes uh yeah a hundred gigabytes uh worth of media and you're getting about 20 gigabytes so they're compressing the hell out of the picture so you're getting crap same thing with Plex so I'm not big on downloading and watching my movies on Plex and it's one of my buddy that, that I also watch his his channel out of Massachusetts there. He kind of shot down Plex, too. He just said, you know, if you're in the house or whatnot, it's all right. You know, the download speeds in the house are all right. And he lives, like, right around Boston. So, I mean, he's got really, really, really good internet. I live in Maine, so, you know, we got pretty good internet now. But, you know, it's still not going to let me get 4K quality picture through downloading so that's where zipidi comes in so what does zipidi do, do so this is the coolest thing so zipidi is a media player so what does it do so when i download or make a backup not download when i make a backup of my 4ks which i can do and put it on my computer at that point that's it you know i can watch a 4k image on my computer and that was the end of it I couldn't go any further. I couldn't put it on my TV. So what does Zipidi do? Zipidi lets you take those files and put them on what, what I, well, you can have an internal player, uh, excuse me, an internal hard drive or an external hard drive. Now, the internal hard drive with this thing, I'll show you. We'll start there. This is my... This is my Zipidi. Let's see if I can get out. It's got a big Z on it. So this is the Zipidi. And when I first read about this, I'm like, ah, I don't want anything like that. I want real media and stuff. But if you flip this down, right here, I don't know if you can see, you got two different drives, okay? If you open this up, um, this you can put a, an internal hard drive in here. And this thing will hold two two one and here's your second one over here this thing will hold two 16 terabyte drives 
So 32 terabytes worth of, worth of information. Oh, I, so how many movies is that? So, <laughs> oh my gracious, I'm trying to remember now. So when they talked about this, I'm thinking, well, I calculated that on on that those 32 terabytes, I probably can put every friggin' 4K movie that I have and a good amount of my Blu-rays, which is huge. So, and, okay. So here's, this is an actual uh, disc that I actually had laying around. It was, it was in my defective pile. I was going to throw it away. Um, this is up. Um, it's just a demo disc. And the cool thing with this is, uh, when you, when you have the disc in there, um, so this is not, there's no disc. This is nothing. This is, this is all on a hard drive. So let me show you here. So I didn't, I have not yet purchased my, um, internal. I do have some coming, but if you look right here. This is tucked behind the TV. I bought this. Um, I'm trying to think where I bought this. Oh yeah, I bought this at Best Buy. Um, a 14 terabyte external hard drive. So what you do with this is, yeah, you make your backup copies on your computer. This is transportable. So I basically unplug it, unplug it from the Zipiti, take it over to my computer. I copy and paste like all my movies onto this and this holds us uh, an incredible amount of movies i'm going to show you in a second here so where this is this is not a disc this is basically just on my hard drive and let's go into the uh, menu so i'm going to go back are you sure you want to exit uh exit and then we are going to go. So this is what you get. So this is my, this is uh, what comes up when I click on up. I get all kinds of information about it. It tells me it's uh, Blu-ray. Um, Blu-ray disc in the middle. It tells me it has 5.1 surround sound. It's DTS HD. It tells me the aspect ratio 235.1 widescreen. Um, even how many hertz it's broadcast in. Um, how I recorded it was MPEG 4, um, which is the best that you can get. Um, directors, uh, uh, information about the movie. So I'm going to go back again. So here is what you get when you go in this is going into movies so these are this is what's on just this one just this one hard drive okay i have nine pages worth of titles okay some of these i haven't actually loaded the pictures on but and and they come with pictures so i mean you pick whatever you want so i'll show you that well there's so much to show you Right now, I'm just going to tell you that this is such a cool thing. This is all movies that basically were laying around the house and or were on hard drives. Like this, an, a vast majority of these movies were just sitting on my computer that over the years I had made backups of and they put them in alphabetical order. You have all kinds of different options. This is just the movies. Now, if you come back one more screen, you have what they call the movie showcase. So this, like right now, I have it under Saga. So anything that has multiple movies um, available right now, it will come up and you can type through these. Okay. Basic Instinct, Batman. Okay. So let's just go into Bloodshot doesn't have a picture yet, but, um, oh, that's another thing. You can put, you know, make, I have baby videos from when the kids were just infants. I made my own channel for that, and I have all the kids' baby videos from when they were little babies. 
So, okay, we're going to go into craft. Okay, so I have the craft, the original, on DVD um, that is on, on my external hard drive. Now, just because I have it doesn't mean you have to load all these videos. You have to make a backup of it on your computer and then take those files that's on your computer and transport them over to your, uh, cut and paste them over onto your uh, external hard drive or internal hard drive eventually. Um, so there's that. And I also just picked up um, the Craft Legacy on Blu-ray and very simply, you know, I threw it in my computer um, with this one, I use the any DVD because DVD and Blu-ray you can do with any DVD. Just made a backup of my movie. Um, now these pictures, these are all pictures, options that I chose. It's like pages upon pages of photos that you can choose from. You can choose your photo for this. You can choose your photo for the background image. Um, if it's a group, um, which this one is. You can also, oh, you can choose these photos. Um, you can choose this photo. I mean, it's just so, oops, I, sorry. You can choose that photo. And, you know, it's just amazing. The other thing which I can't tell you about because it's copyright, but every one of these um, has a sound, like a little... Um, like dirty dancing right now if I didn't want to get copyrighted you'd be hearing the dirty dancing sound dirty dancing soundtrack playing in the background um, on all these movies you know Exorcist you know every one of these movies has their own background music um, so this is like the main screen so this is not and this is what this is why I'm saying it's so cool so this is an external hard drive. So not only do you got video, which is backing up movies, but I also have all my music videos that I'm putting on here. So even like stuff from MTV, I have an MTV file that I have. Um, the Explorer is basically like your computer Explorer. So if you're looking for a file, that's where you would go. And then if you go over here, this is the other thing that's really neat is you can go into music and let's see if it's coming up right now. I was thinking about it. Okay, so um, you go into local drives. Um, name of my thing is easy. Uh, CDs, because that's where I put all my music onto CDs. I made these directories um, and then it's loading up now. And then eventually, once it's done loading, you're going to see, here we go. So these are, these are my, over the years, many, many, many years, like back in the 80s, obviously I was collecting uh, music, uh, CDs. So let's just click on uh, Ariana Grande. Um, then it brings it down, says a Dangerous Woman album. Now, it, this is all, this news, all these CDs are on here. So if I want to listen to Dangerous Woman, I'm going to do it real quick because I don't want you to get copyright. Oh, I actually have the sound turned off. But at, right now it's playing Dangerous Woman in right now for me. So if you can see here, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if I'm on the right side. Um, but anyways, there's a little bar that's coming across. Oh, there it is. See the little bar? That's playing the song right now. So, so when I say media player, I'm talking, I have my photos, all my photos, all my, my personal videos, like my baby photos, trips with mom to Vegas are on here, um, you know, anything. Oh, even, I've, I've even got uh, my VCR tapes um, back from the 80s, uh, I had, I had, uh, figured out a way to back those up onto my computer and and when I did you know video searches it grabbed them all it grabbed anything that was a video anything that was music anything that was pictures it really is a full-blown media player it does every freaking thing even 4k so you know if I want to watch a movie it's as simple as pushing a button
and no getting up, no going to look for the disc, no worrying if the if the kids have dropped it or given it to one of their friends, or back in the day when the kids would scratch the crap out of them on the floor, or drop them or or step on them. I don't have to worry about that. It's right here. You know, I want to watch Spider Man in 4K. Here we go. This is Spider Man. This is the movie in 4K. Spider Man 2, Amazing Spider Man. Um, tells me about the movie. I push another button. Oops, it's thinking. Let me try pushing it again. And loading the video. It has to load just now. Basically, it loads just like a, a 4K disc would load. So it's going to change it to the best possible picture av available. This is just like throwing the disc in. Right now, this is like having the disc in the player, except there's no disc. It's just all through the Zupedi player. The, the, how cool is this? I mean, I'm so excited. This is like as good as DVDs when DVDs come out. You know, you went from a VCR tape to a DVD. Now you're going from 4K, Blu-ray, a physical disc to not a physical disc to just like basically pushing a button, you know. Or, you know, I feel like watching something tonight, but I don't really know. And let's say, uh, uh, let's see, I feel like watching, you know, an action film. So we're going to go, and you don't have to go all the way back through here, but I'm just going to go down here. you got ABC, so if you just want to look up something that starts with the letter A. You have 4K titles, so if you just want to watch a 4K, you can do that. Uh, TV shows, this does only TV shows. i got like Grimm, Seinfeld, those type of things. Um, but this is like, this is what I was talking about. If categories, say I want to watch an action film, you click on action, and like, here you go. Here's every action film that I have on this hard drive right now. So, I mean, it does take some time to load these movies, or back them up, I should say, and put them on. But for me, like I said, over the years, I've been doing this, making copies anyway. So I had, what, one, two, ooh, my laptops, probably three, four, one, two, three, four different sources that already had movies on them and videos and VCR tapes and baby pictures and, you know, everything you can think of. It basically grabbed this all and just threw it on here. Now, I'm not making these, you know, I'm not even creating these pictures or anything. That's just, it groups them. Like, Deadpool has multiple movies, so it puts them in uh, a collection box and then when you click on it, it shows you, like, all the movies that are available that you have. I mean, I have both of them right now, so. And, um, and then, like I said, the music thing, if you see how this has a little music by it, that means that it's going to be, if, if I had the sound turned up, it'd be playing the soundtrack right now. If it has a G, that means that it belongs to a group of, collection films there's more than one film in the collection so you can watch multiple movies if you click on that it gives you all the options of multiple movies and the coolest thing that really sold well i mean this sold me anyways but the thing i thought was the best was the fact that you can change these pictures you know it's not just the standard picture i mean you can if you just want to be the old plain standard picture guy um you can just have the box that it came in, the issue. But this has covers from all over the world. I mean, if I wanted to, if I wanted to have a cover that came from Japan on there with all the Japanese writing in high definition or, or you know, the best picture quality, I could. Soundtracks, I mean, uh, sub to, I mean, it's, it's exactly like putting the disc in. It is a disc without the disc you know you can even you have an option of do you want to go right into the main menu and do you want to have um you know all the commercials and and trailers and all that stuff like you would if you put the disc in or you have another button you can just push and go jump right to the movie so there's your option um so excited about this i'm i've been playing with this thing for a month now um right now um I'm 
at home alone and I just uploaded a few uh what I had a defective movie pile now that's which were scratched and damaged and I were ready to throw them away but before I threw them away I'm like well let me see you know these new players that I got that's the other thing if you have a 4k burner they're much more specific on how fine they can read the disc so if you had an old dvd that had a scratch on it um, i have a cleaning system down there so i'll buff it first uh, especially these ones that i were going to throw away anyways I'll, I'll clean it then i put it in and i try it and so far i've been able every disc that i was going to throw away which was probably 10 to 12 I've been able to burn them, um, my backup disc. So that's, you know, I thought they were lost. They're not lost now. And then, like I said, I, ha I bought a Blu-ray uh, burner. So I got a 4K burner, a Blu-ray burner, and then the actual computer came with its own DVD uh, burner. So I have three options of burning. So that's the other thing is if you get, if you have just one, then you have one, but... A lot of people will build these, like, monster things that, like, it, I can burn three different movies all at the same time. So that really triples the amount of movies I can put on these hard drives. So, yes, I'm excited. I'm sorry this video so long. There's going to be a lot more. I, I, I mean, the other thing that I just learned, um, which I'm probably going to save for next time, is... Um, like I say, this thing will do anything. So if I can, um, I just bought an adapter, which basically will allow um, the red and white jacks of a uh, record player or a turntable back in the day for albums. You can actually, I mean, I have all my CD, well, not all my CDs, but I have right now on this drive, I have 120 CDs that I bought over the years. It didn't take me that long. The CDs pff, fly on, you know, they, they download so, uh, back them up so fast, which is amazing. But I have 120 uh, CDs stored on this thing, so, and I'm not done yet. And then the other thing is I found a bunch over this weekend here. Um, I was off, so I've been basically going through my computer room and, and, uh, over probably 10 to 15 years of of uh making my own backup cds probably from like napster and lime wire back in the day i'm finding all these like discs that i thought were just garbage that had nothing on them and i'm putting them in the systems and coming up with all kinds of these cds that i made over the years tons of them i probably have a good like 20 to 30 discs that i've discovered this weekend um, not to mention the movies that I thought were garbage um, that I've been able to upload. So there's another, like, so I'm probably up to 150 or more CDs. And then, like I said, anything that was on my computer from LimeWire, especially um, uh, back in the day, I was using LimeWire and Napster to download music videos. So the quality is crap. Um, but I have a crap load of downloaded music videos um, that just came over on this thing. So it's just, it, it will do anything. I'm going to be able to put audio cassettes, records, you know, turntable records, um, pictures. I mean, my life. This is a truly, this will do everything. I haven't found pretty much anything that won't. And files. I mean, it goes from back in the early, you know, I mean, you're looking at back in wave files in the early, you know, 2000s, 1990s. It'll copy those and it goes all the way up to, you know, you know, MKV and, and MP4s. All these different files are out there and it does it all. It pretty much, it doesn't not do anything. Uh, Adobe, Adobe X. Adobe uh, HDR, you know, it does the picture quality on the TV, phenomenal. It does up, up uh, grading of the photo, of uh, the picture, not the picture, the video, the movie. Uh, it will take it from a Blu-ray to a 4K image. 
It's just, it blows my mind. So I'm, yes, am I excited? Can you tell I'm excited? So I haven't, if I had done a video back in the day when DVD first came out, that's how excited I am. Because that's how excited I am about this ZPD. Um, the only issue is you are dealing with external and internal hard drives. So you got to be very, very, very careful when you're handling the hard drives because they're fragile. Um, which I did learn the hard way because I did uh, bang one. And uh, luckily it was under warranty. Um, so I was able to, uh, to replace it. Barely. Um, it was almost running out. But I just got a new backup uh, hard drive. So right now I have an 8 terabyte hard drive in my computer. I have an external 8 terabyte hard drive, which I originally purchased. That's the one that got banged and I got a replacement. Uh, the 14 terabyte um, hard drive that's right now which what we're watching all these movies on. Um, that... Uh, that is the one that I'm using right now. And then I just ordered um, a replacement for an 18 terabyte external hard drive uh, from Best Buy. The first one I got from Best Buy online was defective. Um, it wouldn't even load up anything. So I took it back and even though I bought it online, Best Buy honored it and gave me the refund and actually ordered me a brand new one and shipping it to my house. I should be getting that shortly. Uh, an 18 terabyte. And those, if you if you don't really know, 18 terabytes is a crap load of movies um, that you can put on here. I'm probably looking at thousands. You know, I mean, look at I have nine pages, and I haven't even basically the the nine pages that I have on here might be like seven terabytes, maybe it might be halfway full. So I still have tons of room on just this one drive. Then I got an 8 terabyte over there. I haven't even touched. An 18 coming in. And then I actually did um, purchase a 9 uh, terabyte. In, no, wait. No. Take that back. A 16 terabyte. The maximum size for the internal hard drive. I just ordered one. And it's actually shipping from Malaysia. Because that's where I got my... They make them right there. So I actually had uh, contact over there with somebody. Um, luckily, I the, he 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 limits how many you buy. You can't buy more than one. But anyways, so I ordered one, and it that's on its way. Uh, a little bit nervous about that because obviously it's another country. Um, but it's supported by um, uh, eBay's customer service policy. So I mean, if I get screwed, I get screwed. But if I were to buy that internal hard drive around here, I'm looking at 600 to $700 for a 16 terabyte hard drive. With buying it directly from Malaysia, it was like $260. So huge savings. Um, so that's the way to go. So as long as it shows up, that's the only thing I'm worried about. So uh, there'll be more to come, I'm sure. I'm so excited about this. Um, and I'm gonna go now and play with my ZPD <laughs> a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna, what I spend most of my time doing, I mean, you'd think I'd be watching all these movies, but I spend most of my time right now just up, updating the pictures for the, for the images on the player itself, um, which I think is cool. I mean, you get pages upon pages of, of, uh, images that you can, and I like to choose the ones that you just don't see, you know? Um, just, you know, just something odd. I mean, I don't pick, like, the Chinese one or anything like that because I like to know what the, what it reads. I can't understand Chinese. But, uh, but anyways, I'm going to go play now. I'm going to see. I'm still trying to back up, like, three defective discs that I haven't been able to do. But they're pretty, like, not very good movies. One of them, I don't even know what it is. It doesn't even have a title on it. I just had it uh, laying around and and uh, had made a backup of it and then I don't know what it I didn't write down what the backup was so I got to find out what that movie is but I'll probably end up chucking that one because I don't think it's I tried it in two out of the three players and then just not reading it so anyways very exciting um music and, you know if I just don't even want to watch a movie I just sit here and listen it's like going back into college or high school, just 
you know, I'll be able to play my high school, uh, the barn dances that we had in high school with Jam Master J and Scratch and Squealy Neely. I still have some of those audio discs. So I'm going to, and I figured out a way that I can use an adapter and put the actual audio disc or cassettes right onto the Zipidi under the CD option. And I'll be able to listen to all those old, old audio tapes. I mean, the only thing that it doesn't do, and that's only because I don't have any, is 8-track. But if I had an 8-track player and still had some 8-tracks, I probably would be able to even download those. So, it, And I'm going to put my albums from childhood, and I'm talking like four or five years old, like the old Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and all those that... You know, if you can get those copied over on here, they're good forever. You know, you don't have to worry about them scratching or wearing out or anything. So, anyways, okay, 40 minutes, that's enough. So, I'm very excited. Please watch this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.